Hey, just a quick heads up. This video may contain strong language that some viewers may find offensive. You have been warned. So I just wasted a good two or three hours of my life on this game called Mega Luxury Bus Tycoon. It's from Vanity Studio, so I thought maybe it'll be... Uh, honestly, kind of had low expectations to start with. These are the makers of Battlefield Tycoon, which is not a bad game. It just doesn't get updated very much. Zoo World Tycoon was fun. It just doesn't, doesn't get updated very much. That's the trend with a lot of their games. Like, they may, they put out these great... Looks like it's mostly Tycoon games... And then maybe they get one update and then they just get abandoned. See, they're doing the quantity over quality thing here. Just a shitload of tycoons here. And M Mega Luxury Bus Tycoon is the latest in this line of simulators. With almost 5,000 people playing right now. And I just wanted to give some quick thoughts on it. And in my honest opinion, it was boring as hell. The one cool thing about it is that it's like, it's a moving tycoon. That's cool as hell. You're on the bus, you're speeding down the highway while you're building, building your tycoon to, toward the city that you're never ever gonna reach. And it, that's the that's the end of it right there. And if you played like the Mega Mansion Tycoon and other games like that, you've played this one. I had a dog that I think when I finished playing the game, the dog was like 234 years old or something like that. Way older than me, will probably outlive me by a long shot. Like, holy hell, that dog was old. It also says hire workers to maintain your bus. You don't really hire anyone, they just show up. I turned around one day and there was a maid just cleaning shit up. I don't even know where the trash comes from. I'm the only one on the damn bus. And I don't put any trash anywhere. There's no, there's not a lot of things you can interact with. You've got cars and you've got like chairs you can sit in, but that's about it. There's no way for you actually throw trash on the bus. So either other players are coming over there and fucking up my bus or the maids themselves are throwing shit on the floor so they can keep their jobs. Cause like if the bus was clean all the time, they wouldn't have a job. So I guess that makes sense. But what the fuck, man? Drive through breathtaking environments. That's a load of shit. It's the same damn environment on a loop. Create the ultimate luxury bus. I will say the buses look pretty nice. I mean, it looks like, this looks like Carnival Cruise Line or Royal Caribbean. It looks like a cruise ship, but it's on wheels. That's pretty badass right there. Like, the concept is cool, the gameplay is shit. Unlock cars to cruise around, that's true. You do get cars, you got an SUV, a Jeep, and a sedan. And if you pay, if you use the, if you if you buy the game pass, you also get a supercar. Look at these game passes here. You, you also get a helicopter eventually. Other than that, it's just, I see this one dying in like a week or two. The game does have rebirths, but what the fuck would you want those for? There's nothing to do in the game, it's not... You know, it's not like some of the other tycoons where, like, you rebirth, like, and you get this cool weapon or something. No, here you just get a cash multiplier so you can do it all over again a little faster for no reason whatsoever. I don't think they even have scoreboards. The concept is cool. Everything else fucking sucks, man. I think that's all I have for it. I thought this was going to be a longer video, but that's pretty much all there is to it. Is this a review? I don't know. If this is a review, I give the game a... I, I give it a... D. They probably put minimal effort. Like they probably got the tycoon system already. That's why they were able to shit these out every month or so. So it's it doesn't feel like a cash grab, but it doesn't feel like a fantastic or good or even an average game either. It's just it's just there. If you're gonna waste your time on this, you can probably AFK and beat it in an afternoon and be done with it. Uh, beyond that, there's really no replay value or anything here. Um, hope you have an awesome day. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. I'll see you in the next one.